Hi there, it's Sam from Foodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, this isn't a tutorial video, but it's a it's one I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've uh, received recently from Stampin' Up. And actually, I've paid for none of these. Not because I've gone and stolen them, but because I've received them for free, um, either for being a demonstrator with uh, Stampin' Up or for uh, hosting my own parties. And I know that some people uh, worry about the idea of, of joining a company where you're selling directly. Um, and having done it before with a, a cosmetics company about 10 years ago, I understand all of those worries. Um, but when I was uh, working for that company, there was no internet, no YouTube, no Facebook, no Twitter, nothing like that. And I know probably some of you are thinking, how on earth did I live with and exist without them? But, you know, I managed. But it was a very hard company to work for. There was lots and lots of selling involved and you had to constantly be out doing parties and things like that. And it was very hard going. Um, but with Stampin' Up, because of the nature of, of crafting, a lot of people like to craft and actually like to sell fun so Stampin' Up! actively encourages um, hobby demos as they're called, people who uh, want to craft and actually want to fund their own hobby, hence why it's called that and it's it, to me it's kind of it's not really, there's no thought needs to go into it, you buy your products at uh, a 20% discount, you host your own party and you get to benefit from the hostess incentives and I've got a stamp set here that I'm going to show you uh, right at the end. And it, it just seems to me to be quite a simple and obvious thing to want to do. Um, but I wanted to show you these particular products because I do adore punches and I do love stamps and I love the fact that you can put the two together. And I know that with rubber stamping that if you're going to stamp directly onto your project, you run the risk of actually messing it up. And in a video I did a couple of days ago, um, I actually managed to drop my stamp and messed up the bit of uh, cardstock. But it was OK because I was planning to cut that out anyway. So I wanted to show you the combination of things. So this step set here... I absolutely love it's gorgeous it's got butterflies there's all sorts of different detail but you can punch out the relevant sizes so you can see this little butterfly here will work with these two and actually it's just popped from the corner you can't see it those are the antenna and then this larger one here you can punch out your bigger butterflies gorgeous lovely very very sweet so I like that now being a girl who doesn't really put sentiments on uh, projects and things. I like to make cards and gifts that are fairly, not generic I suppose, but, but that could be used for all sorts of occasions. I did spot this and it was actually on an American demonstrator's tutorial video and she used this set. It's called Teeny Tiny Sentiments. Let me get it a bit closer. And there's something there for every occasion you can think of. There's Merry Christmas, Happy Valentine's Day with Sympathy, Happy Father's Day, all sorts. And they are, they, they, you know, they're small enough that you could pop on a on a small card, you could add them to a bigger card. And again, there's a punch called a word window. So you stamp out your sentiment, punch it out, mount it on your project. Really simple. And I just love it. I, I like all the different fonts that have been used. And I just think it's it's a perfect addition to my kit so that if I do want to put a sentiment on, I can. So that's that one. And I've got one here. This is from the Spring Summer Catalogue. Now, this is called Hearts of Flutter, and you can obviously see this isn't a punch. What this is, is you have your rubber stamped images, so you stamp them out in whatever colours you fancy. And then if you have a big shot die cutting machine, you can buy what are known as framelets to go with it. So you stamp out your image, and let me peel one of these off. So say this was my stamped out image, you layer that, get the right one, that over the top, run it through your big shot, and it pops out the perfect image. So I love it. I think it's really clever and really quite unique. And having crafted for so long, I haven't seen that done before in such a clever way. And, you know, I can imagine this done in pinks, in blues, in all sorts of different colours, and layered up and put on 3D projects. Um, and actually in the catalogue, um, there's an, there's a, an idea where they've uh, they've done a, a photograph frame and they've actually put this as almost like bunting going across it. And I just think that's very clever. Um, and again, another another stamp set here that I've got that's got labels, uh, punches to go with it. You can see this one here. This is the, uh, the curly label punch that will go with this one. There's the scalloped oval here that goes with the top. And the... Uh, the modern label here will go across here but then also these little circles I don't know if you can read those they read little one your birthday good luck and all sorts of things like that 
you punch those out with the one inch circle punch but you stamp your image first so you stamp your little motif fit that round it and punch the whole thing out and it just is adorable now I've got a project in mind um, for these uh, for my two-year-old son I'm not going to give you details now but um, it's a, going to be a game for him so I'm going to film I'm going to make it and then I'm going to film a tutorial on how to do it because I know he will absolutely love it so I'm going to pop that to one side another one here again it's this is sentiments but I didn't want I bought this or rather I received this and chose this one um, not particularly to use it as sentiments but to use as um, fronts for notebooks and things like this and actually I made a notebook for uh, a challenge yesterday and I used the word inspired down at the bottom because the chap who had set the challenge had chosen cardstock colour or rather chosen colours that I'd been desperately wanting to use but I'd been struggling and he inspired me to do it so on, on my notebook that I created and you can see that on my blog at the moment I use the word inspire and I like to dream about things for the future, I'll, you know, I have plans of things I want to do and I'm very creative so I wanted to create books um, that I could use these on the front of, you know, dare to dream or I could, you know, write a little note to my husband and stick thoughts of you on it, you know, it's just nice, they, they are literally loving thoughts as they're called, so... And this one here, I am a bunting fan. Because of I have children, we, we like very bright things in our house. We have, um, the, the children have a playroom. It used to be my dining room. Um, but they do have a playroom. And I have um, bunting all across the uh, wall that I made uh, for them probably a couple of years ago. And we change it uh, for seasons, you know, for Christmas and what have you. And I thought this was lovely. And it actually comes with a punch builder that is... Um, that you, as you can see here, you punch out the image, you stamp your images and punch them out. But actually, it doesn't have to necessarily go that way. You can see one here that's like a Christmas tree. And actually, if I turn it back up again, you can see the pot that you would put it in. And I just think it's terribly clever. And again, there's a little round punch that you could pop out your little motif and pop it on. It's just, it's such a clever, clever thing to do and it takes the science out of crafting. And then finally, I mentioned at the beginning, um, a hostess stamp set. Now, I hosted a party, a workshop here uh, at home last week and obviously being the hostess meant that I could choose free products and I chose this stamp set. Now, this you can only get this either if you if you are your own hostess, I mean, if you spend over £150, you get um, hostess credits. And I chose this one because it's it's very pretty. It could be coloured in nicely. And again, I've got a project for this in mind for some of my children. I mean, crafting doesn't actually have to be just about making cards and sending them. It can be for other things. And I thought it was lovely. And I think the hostess credit for this, I think it only costs £9, something like that lovely little images, lovely sentiments at the bottom, Merry Merry, hello there, peek a baby, how adorable is that, it's just delightful. Um, and I wanted to show them to you because, uh, as I said before, you know, you think, well, you know, to join up, to become a demonstrator, it's going to cost me £99, but it's actually not just going to cost you £99 and get nothing for it. At the moment, till the end of May, um, or till the 30th of May, you can choose £155 worth of products and you can choose anything you like for that. You can choose them from either of the catalogues, you could choose it from the spring summer catalogue, you could choose it from the annual catalogue, anything you want at all. My starter kit was all full of paper, that, because I'm such a paper girl. Paper, punches and a couple of dies and it was just amazing when that parcel arrived through the post and it... it well, it, it kind of revolutionised the way that I work because um, I'm, you know, I'm used to getting out a pair of scissors and cutting things out and snipping away and what have you. That actually having these sorts of punches and those sorts of stamp sets that I've just so shown you um, was simple, and being able to get them without having to spend a penny was just simple and easy. So I thought I'd show you some of the recent things I've got and talk a little bit more about becoming a demonstrator. If you want to join up do I would urge you to research carefully who you want to be as the person above you because that person is going to train you and mentor you and guide you um, so whether you want to choose somebody who lives locally to you in which case go to the Stampin' Up! UK website and actually look for there's a demonstrator location located there you can type in your postcode and find somebody locally 
or maybe it's you want to be a hobby demo and you just want to be guided by somebody that you've built up a rapport with or it could be that you want to be uh, guided by me because you like my, my videos or what I talk about um, but do do your research carefully my upline manager lives probably about 200 miles away from me but I I have had excellent guidance from her. Uh, we talk very regularly on the phone, we chat about all sorts of things um, and I don't think I've had any better or worse service than if she'd lived right round the corner. I think um, she's guided me very well and I hope that if anybody who did choose to join my team and become a, a poodler then you would get the same but like I say do your research carefully find out about the person who's been with who who you want to have guide you find out how long they've been a crafter find out if it's selling that they're in, involved in I've been crafting for uh gosh around 10 years um and you know it might be that the person who is better for you is somebody who is new as a crafter as well it could be that you're a new crafter and they're a new crafter and you want to sort of muddle through together but do your research please please do your research but anyway that's it I wanted to show you some of my my new bits and pieces I'm going to put my details below as to how you can get in touch with me um, and I hope to hear from you soon thank you very much for watching today bye